Okay, well, let's talk about all those people who will be out and about doing yes. whatever. Um, how's it going to be for the weather? For the weather? I, I think it's going to be great. Uh, 72 degrees, I've been saying this repeatedly, is that magical temperature. It is. You can get away with pants, you can get away with shorts, you can get away with a sweatshirt. You can wear just about anything like, and be okay. Like Lederhosen. Just Do saying. Do you think that's what it was made for? Maybe. The magical 72 <laughs> degrees. What if Lederhosen is just that perfect thing to put on and you're like, oh, I'm not too hot, not too cold. It's just right. <laughs> Who knows? We've got some cold mornings the next few days, like seriously cold. We can call them cold. And then fall starts and then the heat turns back on. It's almost like someone goes, oh, wait, I wanted it to be warm and then just cranks it back up. Right now we have freeze watches in effect. They run from Friday night to Sunday morning and really stretches from all the way in the Okanagan Valley, all the way through North Idaho and down as far as about Deer Park and Mount Spokane. It isn't going to be the high elevations. It's going to be the valleys down low away from city centers. Think hanging valleys, a valley that sits up a little bit higher than areas down low. That is where we're going to get cold. But look at these temps. This is Saturday morning. Saturday and Sunday morning wind up very similar. Sunday morning might be a touch warmer, but Deer Park and Newport, you're at 35, which means you get away from those locations and it'll get colder. Similar story in Colville and Republic, Sandpoint and Bonners Ferry. Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, right around 40, and it's a similar story for the Palouse. It is going to be quite a bit cooler all because of the clearing. But there it is. We have a storm and a cold front. Neither is impressive and neither really offers us much and neither is what we could call a storm or a cold front. It's a short wave and a, a little boundary is what we're really dealing with. And it is going to drop our temperatures and that is it. It moves through, we build in a nose of high pressure and there is a chance that this becomes something late Sunday. There's a little bit emphasis on little model indication that that happens. If it does, most of it would be up in the mountains and we wind up partly cloudy, believe it or not. Next few days, high near 72, low down near 40. Seriously, down near 40. And then as we get into the week or next week, we start warming back up.